Okay, so I wanted to show you the dryer that I made or hooked up to my wood boiler. Uh, the wood boiler heats our house and heats our hot water. Um, and then our next biggest electric eater is our dryer. Uh, our dryer is around uh, 5200 watts or yeah, so around 5kW. Um, so what I did was I got another dryer and I hooked another loop into my boiler to where I pumped the hot water through another coil and, and started drying clothes with it. Uh, it's working really well, so I'll show you what everything looks like and try to explain it. So here's my boiler setup as it comes in the house. The wood boiler is outside. It, you know, it, it keeps the water around. Like right now, my water is 149 degrees coming in and 131 going back out to the boiler. The boiler's probably running, that's a little low. I think it maintains more around 160, so it's probably out there firing up. Um, you know, water comes in, heats my hot water for the house, the domestic hot water, comes back through, goes to a heat exchanger that heats my house, and it just satisfied, thermostat did. Comes back out of that, and then I've added these two um, with the valve shut. This is going to my dryer. And it was kind of a short run. Here's the dryer here. It doesn't look the prettiest. I had to I had to seal up all of the cracks to give it the most heat through this through the heater, through the coil. This is the electric heater that would normally dry your clothes. So that's about a 5 kW coil. 5200 watts somewhere in there. Um, so I had to, like I said, I had to seal up all the cracks with tape. Um, right now I just have it coming into a filter in the basement and I have a thermometer there so you can see what the temperature is. And we're at 105 degrees. 106 degrees. Uh, and I will insulate these lines. I just ran out for now. So. I sealed up all the louvers on the back and put this coil in. Made these, made this set of sheet metal here, made it so it would hold a filter. Uh, and of course sealed all the cracks back here. Everything's sealed around this coil and it's pulling the air in instead of running through the electric heater, it's running through Instead of running through this, it's going through that hot water coil. And it's doing a really good job drying clothes now that I've got everything sealed up. Uh, it takes a little bit longer than the other dryer, but the electrical difference, this could run uh, five times as long. You know, if, it, if I had to run this, this is a fifth. This takes, uses up a fifth of the electric than that the other one does, give or take. So it's just a quick video. I just wanted to show everything what's how it works. Um, nothing, nothing's changed on the inside. If you look in here, normally, and it's nice and warm in here. Normally, our your hot air comes in here, and the fan sucks it back out here. Um, and that's all we're doing. We're just taking it. I don't know if you can see the back side of the coil there. We're just sucking it through the coil. Working good so far. Okay, so I wanted to show you the amp draws on the two different dryers. Uh, our standard electric dryer, um, which is pulling about 5,500 watts or so, give or take. And then my other dryer, my wood boiler dryer, is pulling around 960 watts. So it's like 4,500 watts difference. Um, Here's my conventional dryer running at full blast, 0 .23, 0 0.3 amps. And I have the wood boiler dryer running downstairs, pulling four amps. Both dryers are 240 volt. One of them is just using the electric heater. The other one, I've taken the electric heater out. Bar, just throw a couple extra sticks in the fire. 
All right. Thanks for watching.